I ain't gonna lie, I've been watching it. Like, every video Jamari dropped, I'm not gonna lie, Agent really put me on to Jamari videos, bro. But every video Jamari drops, I've been on that. So now we, we gonna be reacting to some Jamari, but we got Adam 22 is more desperate than ever. I will say, this nigga is weird as fuck, though. Like, he's mad fucking weird. So the last time we caught up with Adam 22, he was down bad for Drake's dong. The skin color matched up with the skin color that I would think that Drake's would actually be the man's got a missile on him and See begging the likes about? of man, aiden weird. ross for just a single drop of clout drake's resembles a missile to such an extreme degree that i think it's fair that aiden says it as well to me when adam did all of that stuff with his wife he really laid all of his cards out onto the table before he had to this guy is obsessed with numbers analytics and going viral and ever since that moment almost everything to come from adam has been overly manufactured Literally. to try and generate impressions which obviously comes off as extremely corny to the general public as we predicted back then adam has now made himself a it doesn't come off as corny it literally is corny like he's just a corny nigga bro running jokes is. on the internet and for the most part people no longer take him seriously and now in the latest update i have for you today adam is at his most desperate that he's ever been when it comes to his thirst for attention and it all really started when this video was posted with the caption adam 22 caught walking dog with a gay guy yo adam what you doing bro but uh and as you guys can see, there's Adam walking a big old poodle. Okay, he's got the Taylor Swift merch on. And the most interesting thing about this clip is this gay guy he's walking with is actually Jack Doherty's older brother. Yes, I'm dead serious. These two. I ain't even know that dude had an older brother. This thing is the weirdest thing on the internet right now. Two individuals came from that same uterus. And the thing about Jack's brother is that he's actually a gay adult star himself. So this is when people started to put two and two together and oh, say that wow. these two might possibly be either dating or shooting some scenes together. Adam would then just happen to get this sus phone call while on stream. I'm getting a phone call from a number I don't have listed and I feel like it might be T-Row. Let's see. Hey babe, are we still doing dinner tonight? No. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> sounds kind of like... That sounds like a <laughs> Dead homies, like my bad. Are we doing dinner tonight? Like, <laughs> no, no, <I> <laughs> Whoa, Joe! What am I? Hey, for you running that way? You go that way? That was. Nah, it's up. He's done. He's done. He's done. That's up. That's crazy. Nah, nah that was somebody else. Sorry. <laughs> I gotta meet some of you ladies. You got a lot of them. I have many ladies. You have many. That was outside. Arturo um, right there. That was Arturo. <laughs> Now, to me, I don't really know what's more sad. The fact that Adam believes his audience is so low IQ that they might actually believe this bullshit, or that Adam can convince all these different yes men around him to act along with him. Now, I think this has to be one of the sadder things that we've ever seen Adam do for clout, where during one of their recent live streams, Adam decides to walk on set and accidentally reveal that he's wearing a G-string. Yo, I don't What's up with my boy? What What's up, dog? Respect oh this man, man. You got so the right. Weezer shirt on? Bro, hold on. What you just what got done doing, bro? In the Weezer shirt, huh? Your ass is out. Oh, oh hey, 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 You hey, sell hey, it crack. Hey, what the f*** hey, going hey, on? Hey, oh, hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, what the f*** going on, Mike? You saving that shit for a lawsuit one day. That was all caught on camera. Hey, bro. Hey, we do not approve of that. See, now I have to believe that these guys may have not actually been in on the bit. Flacco, I hope you weren't in that's, on that shit, as a matter of fact. Crazy, but yes, just another instance of Adam, Adam is trying so, to manufacture so a viral weird. moment. And it just really was not working because it's almost like he's become the boy who cries wolf. Like he's obviously been looking for clout in all these different cities. Like, bro, like what happened to dude, bro? Like he used to be like a respected creator like you feel me no jumper podcast was like literally like the number one podcast like he really started doing all of this for no reason like his podcast was still jumping like why like it, there was no reason for him to start doing excuse me all this weird shit situations he's obviously put himself into some very compromising positions already 
And so at this point, when people see videos of him circulating around online, they just think, oh, that's just that guy who's desperate for attention. And there also must not be a lot of truth in what he's doing or saying because he has lied or tried to manipulate people in the past to go viral. And I guess now we finally get to the payoff in this entire situation, kind of the big expose that Adam has been setting up, where on April Fool's he had this to say, I'm proud to announce my first ever gay scene. For many years I've dreamed of what it would be like to shoot with one of my bros, and I decided to stop holding back and live my truth. I know some of you won't like this decision, but I hope you would choose to respect my choice. Big thanks to my scene partner, Jack's brother, for letting me tear that ass up. Can't wait for y'all to see this content. And then he just shares a bunch of crazy ass photos. Like, I'm definitely gonna have to censor most of, if not all of this bullshit right here. And, um, yeah, I guess that's probably the only one I can really show y'all in its full entirety. And I don't know, it's pretty believable, okay? This one almost looks to me like the little guy's first day in prison. And he got the Russian mobster there in the background ready to take <laughs> yeah. that booty. Now, obviously, Yo. this plea to the universe to go viral was extremely manufactured from Adam's part. Adam would later put out a vlog that I guess was supposed to show how easily he can manipulate people into making himself go viral. Today, I'm embarking on something new and exciting. I am going to be attempting to troll the world into believing that I am a homosexual. I'm gonna convince the world I'm gay. Am I gonna regret this? It's possible. So he goes through the whole thing, showing each step of the way from meeting with Jack's gay brother. Are there him. moments where you're like, okay, I don't know if I'm proud of him anymore because he's- All right, so they look, okay, yeah, those are the same outfits that they were wearing when that person caught them on that walk. So I wonder if the person who caught them on that walk was a part of the bit too. Doing some like of the weirdest stuff on that. the internet there's making some, everybody yeah. hate him. Yeah, I mean, there's some <laughs> stuff that he does, but... We're gonna keep grinding this some out. Stuff, I'm just gonna keep trying to think of like a new gay thing to put out into the media. Am I convincingly gay right there? I don't know. <laughs> he shows the phone call. I had him call in and I pretended it was, it was gonna be somebody else, like it was a number I didn't have saved. It doesn't seem like people are really going for it. Guess that my PR team was sending it to a couple of meme pages, but they couldn't get it posted. Like nobody was really biting. So I sent it to a dude that I know. Get in on this, help me to make this a thing. So he posted it, wrote his own caption. You know, in a perfect world, I would probably get like three, four, five viral gay things going on as part of this. He shows their little photo shoot. Okay, how, how does it look? I think this is the best one. See? See? Bro, am I not a genius? I literally called it. I literally called it. Literally. Bro, no way. How'd you like my acting? How's my, my gay acting? And even the plan for him to wear that thong onto the No Jumper stream. Alright, this is where I take things to a whole new level. They said, are you down to wear these shorts? I said, yes. Anything to make this thing work. And so now, here's my next one. This guy is so I'm gonna put on this thong, and I'm gonna go into the news, and I'm gonna say hi to everybody. Now in the end, Adam would once again fail to go viral. Just like the show that revolved around giving away his wife, I think the end result here was very I underwhelming. Want to react it seems to like that a lot of people are react to that show so right. wrapped up in how funny it is, the, the pictures primarily, that they are not really like worried about the April Fool's thing. They're just gonna roll with it. I'm, I'm hoping we get some like real anger from people, like in particular the right wing community. I'm hoping that they get like angry. Like first off, no one really gave a fuck. Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. I think that people just wanted to see his wife get banged by someone else. I don't think they're really interested in the extracurricular activities of the Mr. 22 by himself. Nobody and the other thing anymore. is, this was all just way too believable to actually be a joke. Many people have actually predicted that this would be the next step in Adam's career. That's I know facts. he might have presented this That's as facts. some sort of April 1st got you prank, but I feel like this was more or less him testing the waters. I know he will bring this situation up with various guests on his podcast to see how they kind of feel. But to me, it really just keeps getting more and more sad for Adam at this point. I just don't get why he's so desperate for clout and attention, but to me, he's really ruined- It does not make sense. 
He was literally popping. Yo, can I react to no thing? Yeah. I got you. I ain't gonna do it tonight. But I don't know if I'm gonna record any videos tomorrow. But if I do, um, I'll record it tomorrow. Just uh, link it to me, either in my Discord or on Instagram, and I'm gonna get to it. But um, I it doesn't make sense why he started doing this because he had clout already. Like he was respected. You feel me? Like it just doesn't make sense. And all of his avenues to achieve that because he is so bombarded by trolls every single time he posts. And he took himself from like this media conglomerate to be taken seriously and kind of just made his entire life something to be laughed at. I don't know, maybe he's making like insane money from these situations. Cat, but to me, I really not. just don't think it's all worth he's it. This guy is already a multi-millionaire. But y'all let me know what you guys think about this situation. Hey man, W Vision, Mari. It's that trench music. Can't feel my pain unless you've been through it. They be rapping about shit that I've been doing. Rest in peace to my brothers, I've been living. Huh? Trying to get in the cup, but I'm still using.